Okay, so we're going to take a soap dispenser, um, a toothbrush holder, and also a soap dish. These are all items I got from Dollar Tree, and we're going to transform them into copper accessories. Um, I'm also going to take some shower hooks and spray paint them as well. So as you can see, I jumped straight into it, and I'm spray painting the toothbrush holder first. Um, remember to spray paint on both sides. Um, this is actually the top of the soap dispenser. We're going to spray paint that as well. And I just covered the bottom part in um, some leftover paper that I had just because I didn't want spray paint to get on um, any of that. Um, I actually did this part of the soap dispenser and I just left it standing up. So as you can see here, I'm doing the soap dish that So here are the shower hooks. I'm going to actually spray paint the shower hooks on both sides. Um, the key is to try to get an even coat on both sides. Um, I can tell you now, I did not get the most even coat on both sides, but at the end you'll see the finish that it really didn't matter. Um, it's just because the, the hooks are circular, so you have to turn them over and make sure you're spraying them in there. And then all of too. the shower rods. Um, now this part is where it got a little bit tricky. Um, <laughs> I got this, I'll link who I actually saw um, this from whose page I saw it on because I saw it on another YouTuber's page and I thought it was neat. Mine didn't come out exactly like hers, but it still worked. Um, so you're going to actually pour, you're going to actually, I'm sorry, you're going to actually pour the, um, what is it? <laughs> nail polish into the water. So I got a bowl of water and pulled the nail polish in. Now the trick was you were supposed to not let the polish like swirl. You're supposed to put a drop, but as you can see, I do not have a steady hand. So it was just swirling all over the place and it just did not come out right. Now I'm gonna put a disclaimer. I have about four clips of how I did this because I could not get it right. I could not get it to look how I wanted to. So I just kept redoing it. Okay, so after you put it in, um, you really don't have to let it sit. You can take, well, you're supposed to take the soap dispenser and dip it into the water. And the soap dispenser, the color from the nail polish is going to take shape onto the soap dispenser. Now you can kind of see the shape through the water of what it's going to look like. Um, and when I do take it out of the water, I just was not satisfied with it. Now, now looking back though in hindsight, it actually wasn't a bad design. It actually came out very um, abstract and I liked it, but at the time I was like, this is stupid and this is ugly and I don't want it. So um, the great thing about doing this is you can start over as many times as you want to because it's just nail polish. Um, so after I studied it for about <laughs> 10 minutes trying to figure out if I liked it or not, um, I ended up just disregarding it um so here's actually how it came out looking um actually see it's not a bad design it's not terrible um i could have left it like this but like i said i wasn't satisfied so i ended up stopping and starting over um after i start over the only thing you have to do see again i started over it was trash so i tried to redip it didn't work out now the great thing is you can peel it off so i peeled it off um and before it got dry, I used fingernail polish remover and scraped the rest of it off and just started from scratch. Um, I'm probably going to do this a few more times. Okay, so here I am. Um, I started over again. I hated it. It's just like a blob of gray, whatever you want to call it. And it just was not cute. So once again, I tried to redip it. Now, let me tell you, I'm lazy, so I was like, forget this, I'm not going to do it again. So, I just left the back as is and redid the front. And I actually liked how it turned out the final time I did it. Um, it gave it still more of an abstract feel, but it was kind of choppy. And once I like tried on the copper top, it worked. So, as you can see, all I did was turn, <laughs> turn the soap dish around, I mean the soap dispenser around and put it again and look how fabulous. So I put it in my guest bathroom. I actually have two, one in my guest bathroom and one in my regular bathroom. And it looks great with the copper accessories. 
Um, I'm a newlywed, so I'm just getting into this whole home decor thing, trying to make my house a home type deal. So um, I was very excited and ecstatic with how it turned out. My bathrooms are not done, but this is just a little piece of what I was doing. Um, look at those shower hooks they came out so great and they were a perfect touch to my bathroom this is actually my guest bathroom so um if you guys also want details on that shower curtain it is from dollar general i'll put more information below but thank you guys so much for watching if you like these types of videos then thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching bye